So the question is, how dis environmentally destructive is coal when it comes to power generation? Well, the Fulton River Authority has rejected damning environmental concerns by some civil society organizations and locals against the proposed 700 megawatt coal plant to be sited at the Kumfi Abuano in the central region. A technical manager at the authority, engineer Jacob Yosin, speaking at a pre-construction public forum at Esache in the Kumfi district said, advancement in technology has reduced environmental Environmental risk associated with coal power plants by over 90 percent. After decades of investing in hydro and thermal power technologies to generate electricity for the populace, the Water River Authority VRE says it is diversifying its energy generation sources, hence the decision to invest in coal power generation. As a result, the VRE is partnering with China's Shenzhen Energy Group to construct a 2,000 megawatt clean coal power plant cutting across three communities namely a Kumfi Abuano, Utuam and Atebidu in the central region. The coal power plant, which will be the first for Ghana, is in two phases with the first phase expected to start in September 2016. It will generate 700 megawatts at a cost of $1.5 billion and will be followed by phase two, which will also generate between 1,002 to 1,004 megawatts of electricity. Addressing the chief and people from the project catchment communities during a public forum at Ekunfi Esatre, engineer Jacob Yolson of the VRE said the plant will have a harbor to receive coal from South Africa and Colombia. He also explained all environmental measures taken. The VRE's explanation still attracted these fears from the public. An environmental civil society organization, 350 Ghana Reducing Our Carbon, which was also present, questioned VRE on why it is going for a dangerous and outmoded technology. It has a huge environmental impact and health hazard. I mean, it comes with several pollutants. We talk of uh, nitrogen oxide, we're talking of um, sulfur dioxide. We are talking about technology here, and the people that we are borrowing the technology from are shutting down their coal plants. Ontario, for instance, just finished in 2014, finished facing out their entire coal. They can retrofit and go for this technology, but they are not doing it. Are we asking ourselves that questions? Britain, for instance, have said 2050 to face out all their coal. We we'll go to America, everywhere people are running away from coal. So we are surprised. We are taken aback. The VRS technical manager, Jacob Yolson, responded to the concerns. That from 2015 to 2030, about 2,440 power plants, uh, coal-fired plants are going to be put up. This does not mean that they are shunning away from it. There are other reasons why people, co certain coal plants are being shut down. Old coal-fired plants will have to be ref retrofitted to meet current standard. And if the cost of retrofitting makes the cost of power from that plant make you uncompetitive, then the decision is to go offline. The emissions that we are looking at is comparable to European standards. Uh, we also know that our EPA is also working to fine-tune those figures, which will move along them. So even though it's coming from China, the standard we are using now is ever, uh, EU standards. Other question about critics saying that it has an environmental concern. This has been addressed by current technologies. The MP for Ekunfi also raised concerns with local content, but urged the people to position themselves to take advantage of job opportunities. Reporting for Vasatwa News, I am Kwesi Eje Enim, Ekunfi. Well, we have more stories coming your way after this break. In